what made you start a uh, family of a vet? Well, when my husband came home from Iraq at the end of 2006 and then left the military in early 2007, I really thought I was a super prepared military about to be veteran spouse. I really thought I was over prepared. But we got on this side in civilian life and found out not only were we not prepared, but that our family was falling apart. And I couldn't find anybody to sort of say to me, okay, this is what's happening and this is how to handle it. And also started noticing in myself um, totally uncharacteristic behavior. What were you doing to prepare for your husband to return home? Um, well, prior to his redeployment, you know, prior to get him getting back from Iraq, and then also in the period of time between his return and us leaving the military, I attended every briefing I could attend, read endless books and pamphlets and all sorts of things. Um, I was a family readiness group leader and actually helped plan and put on trainings to get um, spouses and families ready, had an entire three ring binder worth of typewritten notes. My husband and I have been together since I was 16. Um, we were very young, married at 19, and he was in Iraq by the time I was 21. So um, I've known him for a very long time and known him, you know, prior combat and post, and his our life after combat has been very, very different than it was before. Would you say he's the same man? No, not at all. Um, one of the things, you know, the way I've sort of learned to term it is that when he got back from Iraq, especially that second time, um, I basically was in an arranged marriage with somebody that looked like my husband, um, but that was about it. And, um, you know, that has very much been a process of learning not only how to deal with things to help him, but also how to deal with my own coming to terms and grips and grieving um, with what we lost. Have you, have you found a way to come out of that arrangement and into what would be a, a, a real marriage of, of love and support? Um, absolutely. It's a very different marriage, but I find... Um, that it is, you know, it's a much more sort of grown up kind of love. It's a love that means um, I've had to learn how to support and be there for a husband that's not always able to do the same for me and um, vice versa, especially as, you know, time has gone on and we've both sort of developed mental health stuff.